Hi, uh, my name is Dave Corkin. I'm the Director of Student Support and Wellbeing at the University of Chichester and I'm here to welcome you as part of your induction uh, to the University and we just can't wait till you arrive in September and of course you might be watching this video after you've arrived as well so uh, it will be just as pertinent for you then as well. Uh, what I'd normally be doing is uh, working with my colleagues in accommodation we do a joint talk to you when you arrive on the uh, welcome days. Uh, as you'll probably be aware uh, by the time you do arrive that's been split over several days uh, now and of course with Covid we're, we're trying to avoid uh, large gatherings uh, indoors so this will pick up some of the aspects that you'll pick up in the first uh, semester and then we'll probably do extra elements just to uh, pad in uh, once you're here. The uh, areas we tend to cover are things that uh, maybe I'll give you one first that you might uh, appreciate is around student money. Now hopefully by now you've applied for Student Finance England or the equivalent ones in the, uh, uh, in the UK and that money should be uh, hopefully on its way uh, and uh, you'd probably be aware also that uh, you, you could resubmit on that one uh, because of the Covid situation if that impacted your household so if you haven't do check that one out uh, and the same with the DSA if you're looking to get DSA support that is also in on that package so uh, please go ahead with that. Now internally uh, we have a hardship fund it's about a quarter of a million and uh, that will sound quite a lot but of course once it's divided up between students who apply uh, it uh, doesn't go that far but you could expect to maybe get about £400 uh, of that which could supplement and uh, support you uh, for, for part of the time that you're here or for a particular aspect like uh, travel for example. Um, the uh, other services within my area are things like nursing and uh, that could be something that's just absolutely medical but it could also be like a care plan. So for example I have epilepsy and it might be that you have a condition where you need support from uh, one of our colleagues here but actually you're also getting uh, your support outside externally so they can work together if you need that support. Mental health is also one of my areas. Now mental health is uh, an area that's uh, it, if I say celebrated, it's because um, it, it, we really want our students not to be disadvantaged in any way and uh, students do have anxiety at times, do have ongoing long-term conditions and it's really about uh, making sure that all students are supported on an equal basis and so that team can be here to support you and we welcome your um, uh, engaging with that team so that we can uh, take that forward. Other aspects include uh, the international team, the careers team and uh, also the, the dyslexia and uh, uh, dyspraxia or DDS team. Now you may have dyslexia and you may have already been uh, assessed for that but if you haven't do consider that carefully because if we can get a support package in place for you via the DSA that could really help you in the long term as you go through the university and beyond. Um, maybe on a slightly more serious uh, point, uh, I, I will come back to Covid in, in a moment which of course is serious but um, just in terms of drug use it's a zero policy as you, uh, or zero tolerance I should say, not policy, as you would expect at the university and also in terms in terms of consent around relationships uh, that is also uh, adhered to very strongly and we would strongly encourage that and of course there's a consideration in there with Covid at the moment as well so uh, what we would expect with Covid is that uh, we can work responsibly together and that we are a community as one and therefore we very much need you to work with us to keep our uh, community safe and secure. It's safe and secure now uh, because we put all those measures in place and it's up to us collectively to keep it safe and secure through your time uh, here as well. To reach many of those services there's lots of options now uh, so you don't just have to turn up face to face you could uh, access services online and you could access services by um, uh, following up with an email for example and so on and we'll be able to respond in a way that best suits you so therefore uh, it's down to collectively you and the practitioner on how you want to meet and I think that's a very positive way forward that could be a, a way that is, is um, a real opportunity moving forward. The opportunity comes on the back of course Covid which is with us and um, we're talking today on August 4th so that's when we made this video and there's still quite a time before you arrive here and there's still quite a few developments that you'll see nationally that are happening and we're working with the NHS and Public Health England on that at the moment and so we're feeling very comfortable about where we're moving to and I hope you do too um, but we're open for questions at any point in time of concern or good ideas we're always open for good ideas and uh, we, we welcome that but maybe just to finish uh, I really I really want to welcome on behalf of uh, my team, you to the university. Uh, I had a fantastic time when I was here, I know it was ages ago, but I think you will have a fantastic time too. And the person who's on the other side of the camera is also one of our alumni who enjoyed herself and is now working for the university. So welcome.